Joining the show now, Ethan, the mayor of the great city of Danbury, Joe Cabo. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Good morning, gents. How are you today? We are doing good. We are doing good. So this Maybrook line, this train rail line, uh, how do I describe this? It didn't used to carry passengers from Danbury to Brewster, uh, but the idea is to convert these into passion, passenger trains. And former Mayor Boughton was a big proponent of this and said it would shave an hour off of commute time. Where do you stand on the, the Maybrook line? So I'm really excited because uh, in my time as mayor, just in the early part of January, uh, the uh, million-dollar study award money was granted uh, it was the grant was appointed to a company to start the study, and uh, we're excited about the possibilities that the Maybrook line could bring to Danbury and the Milford, uh, you know, for both commuter rail as well as uh, you know time travel to New York, less traffic on our interstates, especially at that interchange of 84 and 684, and. Uh, just think that it ha we think it just has a tremendous amount of possibilities. And so, you know, we're excited about the study going forward and uh, we're waiting, you know, wait, we'll be waiting anxiously to see the outcome of that. Okay. So I, I brought it up because there is this guy who just wrote a, a letter to the editor, to the Com Connecticut mirror, and he describes himself as a train guy. And he talks about uh, Mark Bowton's estimate of shaving off an hour and he goes through why he thinks it will not shave off an hour. He says the average train from Denver to New York City on the existing branch takes about two hours, 17 minutes. He breaks it down, and he estimates that it will save 10 minutes. Are you having a lot of, rather than an hour, are you having a lot of people who are self-described train guys weighing in on this project and telling you it won't save as much time? No, that, that's the first time <laughs> I've heard something like that. I thought so maybe that would be the case. So, so, you know, there, here's, the, here's the thought. The thought is people a lot smarter than, like, Ethan and I, uh, you know, are paid to do these studies. You know, they have the experience and they have the knowledge and the ability to gather the information and look at all of the factors that are involved in this. You know, you have to look at, does it, is it faster to go by rail? How fast can the train go on the Maybrook line? Uh, you know, there were some issues, I think, initially in the you know, in the, in the early conversations about, you know, diesels aren't allowed to pull into Grand Central and only electric trains are. And so they talked about electrifying the track and maybe having an electric train. Um, but now there's hybrid trains that are both electric and diesel. And so you could have an engine locomotive that would, you know, go on the open air part of the rail on diesel. And when it goes to going to Grand Central, switch over to electric and, and satisfy the requirements to go into Grand Central. So there's just there's just so much to it, and and that's why you that's why you you know start a study. That's why you have people who you know just do this all the time. Uh, you know, look at all the um, opportunities and all the disadvantages, and then report back to you with what they are. So you know, we, we it's early yet, and we we'd have to wait to see how that study pans out. But we're excited that. You know, governors and federal government is looking at ways to alleviate traffic on our highways and to increase ridership on mass transit in a way that we can bring talent from, say, New York to Connecticut. We can bring talent from Connecticut to New York. And, you know, we have the ability for people to recreate faster and easier, you know, with a direct line to New York. And, and then there's the whole work piece for, you know, people to be able to commute back and forth. So we're, we're encouraged by the possibilities of this. And, and until the study's done, you know, we won't have the answers and, uh, you know, we just have to wait that out. And so, you know, I'm willing to, to let this go forward. You know, this is a, this is a grant from New York state for a million dollars. It doesn't cost the damn taxpayers, doesn't cost the medic taxpayers anything to do this study. And so, um, you know, let's let it happen. Let's find out. Let's see if we can get some cars off the road. Let's see if we can ease some of the parking in the Brewster and the Southeast Station and, uh, you know, just be able to, you know, just give more of our residents an opportunity to work and recreate and things like that.